Going to see Dr. Tosh and Dr. Bennett and your boy Connor. Are you gonna miss us? Hey Jax, are you gonna miss us? Are you gonna miss us? Dude! We'll miss you. Yes. Welcome, 
fellow freaks, geeks, and nostalgic peeps to my channel and to my Garbogus vlog. If you guys didn't know, Garbogus, it's a month-long readathon where we read freaking literary amazing trash. <laughs> And I say trash with love, except right now I'm in the middle of reading a William W. Johnstone book, and honestly, it truly is trash. It is The Devil's Laughter. That is our official group read for the co-hosts and for anyone else who wants to join in. There is a area for discussion on my friend Ollie's Discord channel. I will link his Discord below if you want to join us during the month for that read-along. It's The Devil's Laughter, again, by William W. Johnstone. The ebook is available. You don't have to have a vintage copy. It is an old school book. It is terrible. The first names are repeated so many times. Oh my God. So I'm on a trip right now. Paul and I are driving through Florida. Right now we are in, wait, where the heck are we? I'll ask him. I forgot where we are. <laughs> I forgot where we are. Anyway, we're in Florida right now. And, oh, he's brewing coffee. It said, I just got a text. So we are in Florida, about to go to Jacksonville, Florida right now, and go to my favorite bookstore. I'm so excited. I'm going to take you guys with me, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Also, so I finished, let's see, I finished Radis New Yorkist, which is Ollie's Patreon book club book. So that's like an animal attack book. It's by Hunter Shea, and I really, really enjoyed it. It got really tense at the end. I thought that was such a fun animal attack book. I listened to the audio. The audio was almost like dramatized, and that was awesome. Like there were sounds of rats going like, I don't, like that's, I don't know if that's what real rats sound like, but that's what the sound effect kind of was. And there was all kinds of sound effects, like people running, people hitting things. And I read along as well, because the Kindle copy was only 99 cents. So that was a lot of fun. I gave that a four stars. So my whole theme for this week of travel, especially because we're going to wind up in Key West, is to read lots of animal attack books. So the theme of the vlog is animal attack and creature feature. So besides Radis New Yorkus, which fit in perfectly with the animal attack theme, that was a four star. I also started Fear by Ronald Kelly, which is my book club pick. My book club is called the Midnight Book Society, and I'm really enjoying that so far. I'm only about 15% in. I'm 30% into The Devil's Laughter, and I'm also almost all the way through this book called S-Squad Operation Siberia, which is about actually giant animals, like giant woolly mammoths and like things that shouldn't exist. So that's kind of a creature feature of sorts. The whole thing, it's this army squad who investigates like paranormal and unusual activities, creatures, events, and they go in and have to do certain things because they're an army team, a special ops army team, whatever. It's basically like an, a men's adventure. So I'm almost done that. I have 20 minutes left on the audio, and I think I'm in the middle of another book besides that. What else am I in the middle of? Well, I'm definitely going to start probably Jaws the Revenge this week. I am also going to start... The book, I think, Predators, it's about, like, a bear versus a shark in, like, a death match. Anyway, that's gonna be ridiculous and probably bad, but maybe amazing. Can't be worse than The Devil's Laughter. I'm gonna read some lines in an upcoming video called Kelsey Quotes William W. Johnstone, where I quote some of his work because it's so freaking bad. It's so bad his writing. It's ter it, Honestly, it's terrible. So the book's about Satanists and stuff in New Orleans. Uh, well, not New Orleans. In a small parish in Louisiana. And I'm from Louisiana, so it's, pre it's pretty funny to see him write about there. And his political views are really upfront, like in the book. Like, it's like he uses every couple of pages to talk about, like, his ideals. Even though it's the character's ideals, you could tell it's William W. Johnstone's. It feels like I'm rereading The Uninvited by William W. Johnstone, which is also set in Louisiana, and it's about killer roaches, but there's a very similar main character in The Uninvited to the main character of The Devil's Laughter. The Devil's Laughter main character is called Link, and yeah, he's very much like, I like guns, I hate people who, uh come to my property, and I have the right to use deadly force if they're on my property without penalty from the law. I don't know. And he just keeps going on and on. And it's like, whatevs, okay? Whatevs, William W. Johnson. I get it. And the writing's just very simplistic and terrible. And I'm like, how did he write so many books and sell so many books? I have no idea. 
Anyway, that is about what I am up to. I don't think I'm forgetting any books that I'm in the middle of. Like I said, Fear is the main one. And I think I'm also going to start Jurassic Florida, which is another Hunter Shea book that I got the audio for when um, I also got Radis New Yorkus. It came with the audio for Jurassic Florida. So I'm going to read that one too because I'm in Florida, bitch. So it's appropriate. Anyway, this is the kickoff clip for the vlog, but there's going to be lots of B-roll before and after, including the bookstore. Let's go. All right, guys, I will see you at the bookstore. It's my favorite bookstore in the whole country. See you there. Hello. Hi, guys. Welcome to my channel. I know it's been a day or two since I've checked in with you. <laughs> We're uh, leaving Tallahassee. Oh, yeah, Tallahassee. Our next stop is on our way to Jacksonville, where I'm going to be shopping for books until my head explodes. <laughs> Whatever. My head's not going to explode. <laughs> Say hi, do your thumbs up. Yes. Actually, 
because of the money you spend at the bookstore. No. <laughs> That's mean. It's not all bleached down. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm hungover as hell and feeling very badly. We'll see if I can survive this.
Don't waste a pie. We didn't even film it. Now we just got like the bottom of it. Yes. Hi guys! <laughs> Hi guys! I am checking in after quite a few days of not checking in. So I can't remember if I said that I finished Jurassic Florida, which was about big lizards invading Florida. Because we were in Florida, you know? We were. Yes. Oh, we are we, still. We're, not, we're never going to leave Florida, apparently. Yes, we are in a very slow traffic jam. I guess there's an accident, even though the GPS doesn't show that there's an accident mm -hmm. when I just looked it up. So anyway, we were stuck in traffic. We were starting our long drive home today. Today is the 19th? 
of August? Sure. It's Saturday. <laughs> anyway, so I just wanted to give you guys a reading update. Jurassic Florida was fun. If I didn't already say anything about it, I give it like a three and a half star, maybe a three. I have to decide later, but it was enjoyable. Great, fun animal attack quick. I just listened to the audio. I'm also halfway into Jaws the Revenge. The book cover fell off and I'm using it as a bookmark now because it's a very old copy. So yeah, I'm actually over halfway. So this is really fun. Lots of grief depicted in here because Ellen Brody, she loses another person close to her in this story. If you haven't seen the movie, it's very, very close to the movie, except there's one added element, which is like a voodoo type of element, which I actually think makes the whole thing make more sense because Ellen goes with her son to the Bahamas because that's where he lives and the great white shark follows her and they're not supposed to be like swimming in Bahaman, Bahaman waters. Anyway, Bohemian, I think. Bohemian? Anyway. Bahamian. What is it? Bahamian. Bohemian. I think. Like Bahamas, Maybe. Bahamian. Maybe, yeah. I think. Anyway, it makes more sense with the voodoo subplot. I'm liking it, but it's very much like the movie and I like the movie so maybe that's why I like it so much but I'm having a good time with it there still could be more shark attacks I'm just saying I also started Schrader's Cord by Scott Leeds this is an advanced reading copy from Tor Nightfire thank you Tor Nightfire and I do not think this is garbage but I am making uh, an effort to read this now because it's coming out in the beginning of September and it does have a vintage horror feel to it. It starts really fast. Like the first 60 pages read super quick. It didn't feel like it dragged at all, which is good because this is a longer book coming in at almost, let's see, 400 and over 430 pages. So it is a long one, but it's not feeling long, even the first 60 pages. And we're getting to know the characters. I'm really liking the characters quite a lot. Essentially, this guy who owns this record store dies in a mysterious way or an unusual way. His kids get involved, and I think there's a haunted record. We haven't gotten to that point yet, but there's definitely some spooky things already taking place in the first 60 pages and great character development, like I said. So liking that quite a lot and I'll keep you up to date on that. That's about where I am. If I could finish these two books on the drive home, that would be wonderful. I would feel like I could wrap up this vlog. It would have been great to read The Meg. That was one of my plans, a shark attack theme. Yes, I'm aware. And now that we haven't gotten eaten by sharks, I feel better about reading these books because we went snorkeling and we did not get eaten but we did see sharks we saw a nurse shark i saw one paul saw two and i saw a turtle it was cool i tried to show paul but he he missed it i did yeah it's sad are you sad very i may cry right now no anyway our car is packed up as you could see lots of freaking stuff all right so that's it for this check-in we will go back to our traffic jam <laughs> and i will update you as things progress bye guys I am back from vacay. I've been back for quite a few days, but I finally have a reading update. And today I'm starting a new vlog, so we gotta wrap up this other vlog first, the travel vlog. So I finished two books, Jaws the Revenge, which barely survived me reading it. Like, look, it's terrible. It looks 
so terrible. This was a lot of fun. Lots of voodoo. There was actually still some mafia mob stuff in this, but it was like an island mob dude. And that was interesting, but I like the voodoo stuff better. And it still had some of the flaws of previous Jaws books in that I wanted more shark, more shark attack. I did like the scenes with the shark quite a bit. I did find Ellen to be really interesting. And I like the movie. The movie's fun. The movie's ridiculous. And I was picturing basically the actors from the movie in this book. So that was a lot of fun. I say overall, a decent time. Gave it a 3.5. I actually like it more than Jaws 2. So it was a lot of fun for me. All right. And last but not least, we got Schrader's Cord. This was so good. It's about a son and his sisters who get left these records from their father after he unexpectedly passes away in a very unusual way. And these records aren't your usual records. They kind of seem to do something sinister. May or may not open the land to the dead. <laughs> anyway, uh, wonderful stuff. They have to like solve a mystery the whole time. My only complaint, and it's a very small complaint, is it probably could have been tightened up a tiny, tiny bit. However, I was never personally bored. I actually thought that it read really fast for being over 400 pages. And I thought that at the beginning when I first updated you guys, and I still thought that all the way almost to the end. It was just like the last... I guess 100 pages, I felt like 50 or so could have been tightened up. But overall, I think this would be a great read, one, for people who love like musical elements in their horror. I also think it'd be a great read whether or not someone really is into horror. Like if someone likes thrillers more, I feel like this could still appeal to them. And I also think this book could be perfect for people who like vintage horror because there just felt like there were some vintagey elements to it. Nothing explicit. It wasn't set in the past. It's just like a vibe that it gave off with the writing style. And I mean that in a good way, not in a negative way. I just, there was something about it that just felt like the story itself was a very vintagey style story and I like that I think that was a pro of the book so overall I'm giving this a four star rating very enjoyable definitely recommend it comes out on just to make sure double checking September I think it's September 5th so September of this year and it's going to be in hardcover and look at this freaking design for the cover it's amazing it's worth it uh, I just think it's a great adventure it's an interesting book. There was a great mystery. I think also if you love character development, that's the number one reason to get this book because I love the character development. I thought the characters had great relationships to each other. I enjoyed my time with them. I felt for them. So yeah, the characters were number one. Then the plot and everything was number two for me because that was interesting, but I loved the characters. I love great character development. So whenever that's in a story, I'm like, okay, I care about what happens. And so that is what is pulling me in and making me invested in the story. So there was a lot of characters, but I actually liked all of them. I even thought that the, some of the smaller characters were even well done. Uh, there was only one character. I didn't know why she never came back into the story. It was one of the sisters. Uh, I was like, why isn't she a bigger part of the story? That's my only gripe with a character, per se, but every other character I thought was definitely there for a reason, was well fleshed out, and was enjoyable. So, highly recommend, especially if you like the elements that I mentioned, specifically if you like a book with musical elements or a book with great characters. I think those are the two main things that you would uh, enjoy if you checked out this book. And also, again, I think it's appropriate for either thriller readers or horror readers. There's some horror in it, but it's not over the top, in my opinion. Like, there's some gore, but not overly, like, in your face. Not like an extreme book or anything. So I think it's pretty much universally appealing to almost anybody. All right, guys, those are my thoughts and my last two reads for this vlog. I think this vlog was kind of filled with demonic stuff. There was kind of some demonic dead stuff in here. The Devil's Laughter by William W. Johnstone, which was definitely the worst book of the vlog. That was like a two star for me. Terrible. Then we had some Animal Attack with like the Hunter Shea books I read with Jaws the Revenge. I didn't get to some things like Meg. I wanted to read that book. Didn't get to it. It'll have to be next year. And uh, yeah, there's just some things that I really wanted to squeeze in that I just didn't have. 
the chance. It's like falling apart. You can't really see it because of my focus, but pieces of the book is still falling apart and like falling all over me. All right, guys, for this time, that is it for me. I do want to say a quick thank you for checking out my vlog. I appreciate you guys. I will have information about Schrader's Cord linked below. Thank you so much to Tornight Fire, the publisher, for sending me this advanced reading copy because it really made the drive home go by a lot quicker. All right, guys, as I said, thank you so much, but that is it for me. Till next time, guys, you know what you could do. Keep on killing it. And... Keep it trashy while we're still in Garbogist. <laughs>